of a media personality, a multi-talented broadcaster, a consultant, a poet, and a writer. But she is much more than that. She is an activist. She is a feminist. And for well over two decades in primetime television, she was Nigeria's answer to Oprah Winfrey. Krishana Amampo, Katie Couric, and of course, Barbara Walters role in two one. Thank you so much, Eugenia Abu. Your Excellency, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Right Honorable Tajuddin Abbas, the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Senator Dr. George Akume, the Chief of Staff to the President, Right Honorable Pemi Bajabia Miller. The Head of the Civil Service of the Federation, Dr. Fola Shede Yemi Esan. Members of the Federal Executive Council President. Special Advisors and other Senior Aides to the President. Permanent Secretaries, Directors General, and Heads of Extra Ministerial Agencies and Parastatals. Members of the Diplomatic Corps. Our royal fathers, elder statesmen, and captains of industry, distinguished presenter of the anniversary lecture, Dr. Adego, Adego Roy, members of the organizing committee of Nigeria's 63rd Independence Anniversary Public Lecture, honored guests, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Today we gather to honor. Nigeria's journey to redefine its destiny. Today we stand on the precipice of history to reflect upon a nation that has defied the predictions of doomsayers, a nation that has become the metaphor of resilience. Over the past 63 years, we have not only survived, but thrived because of our collective resolve, our commitment to progress, and the enduring spirit of unity that binds us together from Abba down through to Ogbomosho, to Zalia, to Burning Kebbi, despite the conspiracies of minor vested interests. While this anniversary offers us another opportunity to acknowledge the close regional bonds that kept us standing as Africa's most populous nation and largest economy, we are here to remind ourselves that the future we promise Nigerians isn't an empty performance for electoral papers.